Providence International is a non-governmental organization started in September 2014. It is based in Nairobi and endeavors to turn around the current mismanagement of e-waste in Kenya in a bid to see that it is managed effectively. Statistics available show the e-waste generated annually in Kenya stands at 11,400 tons from refrigerators, 2,800 tons from TVs, 2,500 tons from personal computers, 500 tons from printers and 150 tons from mobile phones. Providence so Care International is an NGO started in 2002 and we have been implementing several programs. One, we are implementing pro uh, programs on health, that is uh, uh, HIV counseling and testing. Uh, we have clinical services and also other community based. We also are doing uh, environment and climate change programs where this program is in, that is enactment of electrical and electronic waste management uh, by law in national level. And uh, we also have uh, robbing and advocacy in governance and uh, also we have other programs which are written to the many things we are doing. We also have uh, at the community level, Machakos County, we have been able to mobilize uh, all the stakeholders at uh, uh, all the ministries, as I have seen earlier. And uh, the HMCAs have come in handy. We have had three major meetings and retreats with the HMCAs. And uh, we have been able to do most of our activities, that is about 95%. Uh, uh, to this uh, far, we have been able to hand over the, uh, the bill to the Minister of Environment and Natural Resources in Machakos County. And also another copy has been given to the county assembly clerk and therefore they are custodian of the same because we are under legal expert who has been able to do so much on uh, drafting of the U.S. registration. The CEO of Providence International, Penina Mwenda, says they have embarked on an ambitious project to ensure a legislation dubbed 3EW bill is enacted by the Machakos County government. She says such legislation will help in promoting regulations requiring producers to contribute to e-waste management through a callback system by manufacturers, suppliers, and service providers. We have started this journey of uh, doing the bill on e-waste from September up to now. And, and I'm grateful that you've been with us since the inception meeting on 29th September 2014. Ministry members came, the technical, uh, uh, technical team from the ministries, and we are grateful. We had a baseline survey in Machakos, and we know that this uh, menace of e-waste, it's all great. Many of you said that we have it in our homes. To now Tafadarini. E-waste e registration. Nietu, remember, ni kuajiri ya maisha yangu, my health and your health. Environmental health, ndiyo tunataka kutransform and to make it better than we found it as PWCI. When this bill comes to our assembly, then even this week or next week, me as the deputy chief whip, I'll make sure that I whip all the members in time so that we can make sure that this bill goes through. We have appreciated your concern for the people of Machakos and the environment. So, the people of Machakos, this is now the high time. The bill is introduced officially to the Assembly of Machakos through the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources. Watu wengi katika Machakos, awataki kufanya vile inatakikana. Mutu kitu ikiaribika Instead of taking the right precautions Muna peleka kwa fundi Muna achia fundi Na fundi anajua mambo yake 
the bill is in the right place at the right time because we know there are many things which are happening we know the government and the entire central government has not leg made a legislation towards this issue the legislation which is there is for solid waste and we are very lucky in machakos we have a professional in issues of environment solid waste and we have him with us here Bwanazioka, who is a good professional, well and fast about these issues of solid waste, and I know he is going to make perfect work in the ministry. Bill imekuja wakati mzuri, kwa sababu kuna hii matatiso ya ku, ku throw away or to dispose hii waste. Lasima tutafute mbinu sa kutupa hizi vitu ili isilete madhara kwa watu mahali kama Singapore mahali kama Japan hawana minerals ambazo wanaweza kutengeneza vitu lakini wana recycle kwa hivyo nawataka kuhakikishia wale ambao wamekuwa kiuzika kwamba upande wangu nitafanya hii kazi very quickly <mulia> We, are, we will be able to replicate the same to the 46 counties because uh, through the partnership of uh, ACT, uh, UK Hand, and the Swedish Embassy, the mall, is the one which has given us the money to do this. We have been able now to make sure that the bill is on. And another thing we are proposing in this bill is how are we supposed to handle to also refurbish the electrical and electronic waste uh, waste because the problem is there's so much of heavy metals which are entering into our rivers into our environment and they are coming from what the appliances or the equipment from electrical and electronic waste when they give these donations where do they go to they can go to our schools they can go to our tables in our offices and they are about to end end of life Generally, we, we don't uh, know or we are ignorant of uh, the dangers that, you know, e-waste uh, can expose us to in terms of uh, heavy metals. So to this far, we can say that now the, uh, the viral or the registration is with the rightful persons because they have assured us by uh, June 2015 uh, they will have and all the processes done to make sure that the Bible or the registration is en enacted. Providence International has been conducting public sensitization forums to help them learn the best practices of e-waste management. And county government of what? To make sure that there is enactment of e-waste registration in Machakos County and we first track e-waste bill in the National Assembly. We have also trained e-waste handlers and refurbishers and we have been working with a lawyer to make sure that we have a good bill for Machakos what? We have we have and community forums and so many round table meetings with technical people in the ministries, all the ministries in Machakos and all the ministries in Nairobi and also we are many robbing and trying to find eight ailments that are connected to this particular uh, waste. E-waste includes what you can see there. We have the TVs. We have the computers, we have the motherboard, we have the, those integrated circuits to are here, the wires, we have the batteries. Local governments are facing huge costs to handle e-waste and even greater costs if they do not capture this stock stream at the point of production. We, the point of production is where you, unless we capture it at your own houses, unless we capture it at your own, own houses, then they will it will cost them more and more and more. There is no law that actively regulate and enforce e-waste industry standards. It's not. 
a significant amount of second-hand equipment in the market with short remaining lifespan is imported into the country as dumping of e-waste from developed nations. What they are doing is very good because we have a lot of problem in this county, especially on the on the Adi River and the, also within the, the community where people do not have proper ways of disposing electronics. Uh, and also, uh, we also have some of the electronic materials that flow into a river hearth and they are causing a lot of uh, problem downstream. Uh, if you know that uh, at the river, uh, breeze some fish and most of the fish are dying and uh, whatever kills them uh, those who eat the fish they are also affected what I know is a major problem is uh, ignorance people have no knowledge about uh, the electronic waste how harmful it is and it is good that they know and in particular I would say let's target the youth uh, because they will understand more than the old generation. Once educated, they will carry on uh, educating their peers, and this will bring a transformation and a great impact, particularly the positive impact in uh, managing our waste. I mean, it's in our community. Uh, we therefore thank God for seeing that there is need to come and educate us on, the, on how to dispose the e-waste. Despite many feeling that the e-waste has been more overburdened to the society, the same has provided employment opportunities. Many youths are involved in informal business of recycling e-waste, which has become sustainable through capacity building and providing easy access to funding. the electronic motherboard. Now what? When you hear us, since to now we are to now part of Pesa, at two p. Yeah, I'm a Kidalo from Tax County. I'm a techno by profession. Actually, I do water maintenance. That's my profession. E-waste in general, I can say uh, uh, the challenge which we get as technicians is uh, some of our customers they come, they just leave their machines. They need for repair. And then after a long time, somebody calls you, tells you, I, that machine, I want you to dispose it for me. So you find that it is a challenge for us as technicians uh, to work, uh, to know how to do with these machines and how to dispose them. Uh, actually, I thank our program, which is by Providence. They are working out. They are they are helping us to get a means of disposal. Uh, as I was saying, we have uh, this program with Providence and we are very much appreciating as the county government of Machakos, especially the technicians, we who deal with computers and phones, because uh, they, uh, as the county government of Machakos and the technicians of Machakos, we want uh, this program to at least to sail on so that now we can have a better way and a better means of disposing our staff. Uh, I'm David Maungu. I'm a partner in electronics. I'm a member of repair. Na vitu ambao zizi vitu ambao zimezimwa ambao wasifanyi kazi mingi za uwa tunaweka tu kwa store kwa tuja pata mahali lakini tunayasikia kuna mwelekeo na mahali ya watu wa nini wa wanatuwe na imambo ya wanatuwelekeza kuna vile inaweza kufanyika lakini kwa sasa tunaweka kwa store tuna support program kwa sababu hii vitu ya sita kwa ikuwe kwa ibaya vile inaweza kuduru ya hafi ya watu Kwa program kiki ini ni, naona itakuwa na njia mzuri ya kusaidia hizo vitu sisiwe na matara kwa wana inji. The purpose of the program was to lobby for the enactment of the e-west laws in Kenya with a pilot initiative in Machakos County. To that end, we have been able to lobby for the fast tracking of the US legislation in, in Kenya, that's a, a, at the national level, while in Machakos County, we have been able to come up with a bill uh, towards e-waste uh, 
uh, enactment. There are inadequate regulatory and policy structures to safeguard health, environment and social consequences of e-waste. There is also limited capacity of government agencies and facilities to deal with e-waste. Besides that, at the national level, we have been able to uh, fast track the e-waste uh, regulation, which we have been able now to make sure that uh, it is not earned by the uh, committee of delegate and registration, but also it is now with the technocrats so that uh, we are able to to get them give uh, uh, their support uh, to make some amendments here and there they take it back to the committee of delegate and registration and then it can be given to the ministry for engagement on environment we have interacted uh, with the uh, providence and they have uh, they have shown us the interest they have in iwi uh, during our meeting, we, ag the, we agreed that what, the, what is there today are just regulations which have uh, stayed with the Committee on Delegated Registration and for a long time there was, uh, there was no action on, on EWI. On our part, as, far as the Committee on Environment, we agreed to go and call it up and find out where the regulations were. We contacted NEMA, which is under our ambit, and we were able to tell them to follow up the regulations that they had formed long time ago. We also agreed that we are going to have a, a comprehensive uh, registration on waste, which encompasses all types of waste. And uh, now that Providence has taken a lead in uh, registrating for e-waste, we agreed that the sector on email that will give them uh, or will take uh, all the information they have been able to gather and make it part of the bigger bill. And so, to this far, we are saying that uh, though there has been some challenges, um, for example, the rent tips, and the delays from the technocrats and uh, the registration, uh, the registrative arm of the government. The protocol says that if somebody is given a letter, he has to respond by maybe um, two, two weeks. And therefore that has been one of the things which have derailed our processes. And we have not been able to do validation meetings but we have turned the validation meetings to to community forums where they have come to give their views county level but at the uh, national level you find that uh, we have been able to do the necessary steps and we can say this project is sustainable because the rightful personnel have now been given the e e-waste regulation we are working on it and also we are saying that um, at the county level the relevant uh, technocrats and the county crack of national uh, county assembly asked the bill so we are saying we have done a lot within the eight months period which we have been implementing these three years in wb as we have um, uh, shortened it that is enactment of electrical and electrical waste management bill and to this far we are saying thank you so much our partners that is act that is uh, we have also swedish embassy and uk hand plus other stakeholders who have worked with us we say it has been rigorous process but we have been able to achieve a road because of your partnership, because of your backing. And therefore we are saying God bless you. Thank you so much for being with us throughout the process of the same.